Hello fans, we're here again, Therese here, and welcome back to a Doctor Who leak slash news slash rumor update video. But before we get into it, if you could do me a teeny tiny little favor and click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10k by the end of the year, and I honestly believe that with your support, we can make it happen. Our next stop is 5k, and I'd love to get there by the end of the month, so please just click that subscribe button. For the love of God, it gives me life. But with that said, let's get into the news. Our first bit of news is... I'm a bit late to this, but I thought it was interesting for one particular reason. So recently, Doctor Who Series 13 Journey with Takura the TARDIS touched down in Gragetown. Now, this was posted on May 7th. So a bit late to this, but I wanted to address it for one very specific reason. A young fan was lost for words when he bumped into Jodie Whittaker filming Doctor Who in Grangetown, Cardiff on Tuesday, May 4th. Look who we bumped into in Grangetown. Never seen Cal so lost for words before. 13th Doctor Jodie Whittaker is so bubbly and friendly, whole crew super friendly, love Doctor Who. She even brought us home in the TARDIS, so kind. And as you can see here, there's some images. It's it's really nice, to be fair. Whatever your stance is on the era, regardless of who the Doctor is, I love seeing stuff like this. It's just really nice to see fans getting all excited, particularly young fans. You know, it reminds me of when I was younger and I'd get excited going to the Doctor Who experience and stuff. So this stuff's just always lovely to see regardless. Brings a spidgen of light to my shriveled up black heart. But speaking of black... You may notice that in these images, Jodie has a slightly darker costume, you'll notice. The suspenders are actually a darker colour, and the jumper seems to be a darker shade as well. So this would imply that we're getting a new 13th Doctor costume variant for Series 13, which is very interesting. Jodie Whittaker was described as brebbly and friendly as she posed with the young fan and his 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. I think those are the ones that are, like, the most readily available. Like, those are the ones that I still see people with. They seem to just be everywhere. Like, whenever you go on eBay and you look for Sonic Screwdriver, 11th Doctor is the one that comes. So, so I don't know whether they, they just made a bunch of 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdrivers, because the 10th Doctor does seem harder to find these days. I think partially because of, like, it was made a while ago. But yeah, the 11th Doctor just seems to be in abundance. The super friendly crew also allowed the boy to prose with the TARDIS prop. Whittaker sported dark suspenders, not her usual yellow. A black t-shirt and dark socks, as her costume variant for the Series 13 episode. As I said, that's interesting because it's getting darker. I really hope that she gets darker in Series 13. I've said before. I'm not a big fan of her overly friendly, overly kind of cringy, happy personality. So if she gets a bit darker in Series 13, I'd be all for that. If they do something like what they did with Sylvester in Season 26, I'd be down for that. I need some more darkness from this Doctor. Eight episodes of planned for Doctor Who Series 13 were filming continuing in July, not June, July. The clip which introduced John Bishop as companion Dan revealed the series was scheduled to air sometime in 2021, likely late autumn. We have a follow-up to this Series 13 filming, a bit more recent. In fact, I think this was yesterday. This is... Doctor Who Series 13 filming Doctor Dan and TARDIS in Panath. A Doctor Who film crew recorded Jenny Whittaker and John Bishop with the TARDIS prop on May 13th on Salisbury Avenue in Panath, Wales. Not that far away from me. I never, I'm never there. Actually, fun fact, when I was younger, I was coming out of hospital and we saw a sign for filming and we asked the guy, what's the filming? And he said, it's Doctor Who. So I got all excited, naturally. I'm a massive fan, you know, I still am to this day. And we go down there. And, you know, they're, they're all super lovely. They offer us biscuits and that and whatever. Me and my dad are talking about what monster it could be. It was a scene where a guy was jumping out of a, a window, right? And obviously my dad made out that I was like a massive, like, Doctor Who fan, because I was. And I said, because this was around 2014 at the time, I said, are you filming for like series eight or nine? And they said, no, we're filming for season 28 or something like that. Something like that. And I was a bit confused because I knew full well that there weren't 28 so obviously if you include classic who it goes up more than that but in terms of modern who the way they structure at the minute there's not 28 series of modern who so i'm naturally confused and i said i told my dad this and he's confused as well and we're all talking about what monsters there could be only to find out that it was casualty all along casualty all along and I'll never forget that, because even though I didn't get to see Doctor Who filming, I think that story is just so funny. But yeah, as you can see here, here we can see the TARDIS and the Doctor, and you can see Dan still sporting his period costume from some of the previous filming images, and another shot that says, look who's filming in Panath, or look who's visiting in Panath, I should say. And obviously it has the TARDIS there. And I don't know why, this just gave me that vibe. I know it's not, but the house behind just really gave me vibes of... Bannerman Road, Sarah Jane's house, 
Like, I just got that feeling from that image. I know it's not. Maybe I'm just trying to manifest Liss Sladen to be back with us because I, I miss Liss Sladen. But yeah, that just gave me immediate Bannerman Road vibes. John Bishop was wearing the same 19th century flat cap he wore as his new Doctor Who companion character, Dan, for previous filming. Doctor Who filming with Mandip Gill and Kevin McNally. I believe that's for the historical. I mean, it would be kind of funny if he gets that hat for a historical episode and then just doesn't take it off. I think that'd be quite funny, actually. That would be a neat subversion of, like, companion tropes. It's almost like in the RTD era where there's this running gag where the companions try and talk like the people of the time would. But obviously because the... TARDIS already translates it, they end up just sounding a bit weird like they would to us, which I find it really funny. Oh, guy, okay. I've been boot in a boot. No, don't do that. Hoots, mon. No, really don't. So if that's like something that they're doing here, I think that's quite cool. The three actors previously seen in 19th century costume in scenes filmed at St. George's Hall in Liverpool and Cardiff Castle in Wales. Eight episodes planned for Doctor Who Series 318 with the filming continuing into July. We've had some recent time fracture news. Mainly this image of a Kablam man on set saying we've received an order for more rehearsal shots. Delivery fulfilled. And remember if you want it, Kablam it. Hashtag be the hero. So yeah, that basically confirms the Kablam men for Time Fracture, which I think, yeah, fair enough. I think they're like one of the few things from Series 11 or really Chimlier in general that's new that like really stick out. And like I can really like visualize like the rest of them. Like, I can never see them really coming back. Other than maybe Tim Shaw, because he sort of did. But, yeah, the Kablam men, I could see them being in other stories with other Doctors. Like, if Big Finish ever wanted to do, like, a, a new Monsters, old Doctors sort of box set type thing, I could totally see the Kablam men facing off against one of the other Doctors. So I understand their inclusion here, as they are probably the most recognisable Jodie Whittaker-era monster. But the biggest news regarding Time Fracture... We've been waiting for this for a long time. We are incredibly excited to announce that through a mix of pre-recorded cameos, voiceovers, and secret encounters, all the Doctors will come together for Doctor Who Time Fraction. Supporting 42 live actors will be pre-recorded cameos from Tom Baker, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy, Joe Martin, and the current Doctor Jodie Whittaker, with voice actors taking on fan favourites 9, 10, 11, and 12, as well as... Video and audio involvement from Jenna Redgrave, Kate Lethbridge-Stewart, and John Colshaw, the Brigadier, respectively. In a fitting tribute to his father, Michael Troughton voices over Patrick Troughton's second Doctor, and the 21st century voice of the Daleks and Cybermen is delivered by the brilliant Nicholas Briggs, who we got on the podcast. Additional voice talent provided by the team at Big Finish includes Jonathan Carley and Tim Trelaw, taking on more fan favourites from all the eras of Doctor Who. I think they'll get Tim Trelaw to do three, I'm right and Jonathan Carly he does war so I wonder who else they'll be doing on top of that but yeah very cool stuff the more I hear about Time Fracture honestly the more excited I am to go like I haven't booked anything yet but I definitely will be going at some point because I love stuff like this I love going and seeing Doctor Who up close and the idea that we're going to have all the Doctors going together that's yeah, a very cool concept, you know. And we're getting more Ruth Doctor content, which is always a plus. But let me know what you guys think about any of the news we've discussed today. As always, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you later.